Thank you for being here and welcome to the third NOW conference. <laughs> um, I, you know, one of the things is that uh, we're looking at what's going on weather-wise. Why is it that the two events that were for staff outdoors both had rainy days? <laughs> Go figure. But uh, you're all here, it's not stopping anyone. We have really an exciting program for everyone. And um, I want to thank Chancellor Dirks for being here. We're gonna hear from him in a couple of minutes to do a nice welcome for, it, for us. And before I turn it over to him, let me give you a few logistics about the day and I'll come back with these some other ones later. First of all, let me get a show of hands. How many of you are here for the first time to a NOW conference? Wonderful. So we have a lot of first timers. And even though there's some sessions that are brought back by popular demand, even from the first year, we still got to get a lot of requests for some of the more career oriented programs that as a matter of fact, we have our own staff here who deliver workshops and things on a regular basis. But we also have several new kinds of uh, workshops which I'll tell you about in a minute. I wanna make sure that you know some of the basic logistics. There's water in almost every room. I'm, for me, having a personal summer up here. I don't know what's going on, it's a little warm in here, humidity coming in, whatever it is. But water in every room, our water is just behind this booth over here, so if you need water there, it's in every room. We expect about 600 people here today. And uh, there's several people that are here all day, some are only here for half day, but um, so you'll be intimate and mingling with quite a few people. This conference is really a huge production and it's a big collaboration with a lot of people. We have over 90 volunteers today helping all over and I just wanna give them a round of applause for being here and helping us out. We've got uh, 20 presenters, about 20 staff with the stadium, Cal Dining and other places and also our eight person planning committee. And you might also notice the nine uniformed uh, stadium greeters. They're in black vests and pants and they'll direct you anywhere you need to go. And uh, restrooms are on either side of this room and they're, they're pretty well identified around. And we have volunteers who actually are around everywhere to get you to wherever you wanna go and even instructions about going downstairs to the conf conference rooms that are down there. The side elevators to my left, elevator one and two, go up to the eighth floor where the coach's corner is being presented and also any sessions that are in the university club. And um, there are also, uh, we'll give some details about lunch a little bit later, but be sure to come back if you're staying all day to go up to the university club for the closing reception. And we also have a big raffle that we've divided between lunchtime and the uh, closing reception. So let me tell you a little bit about our welcome, welcoming Chancellor. We're so pleased to have Chancellor Dirks here. And um, he's shown true commitment to staff by sponsoring this event. It's indeed a pleasure to have him reserve time in his hectic, busy, on-the-go schedule to open the conference for us. So without further ado, please give a warm welcome to Chancellor Nick Dirks. Thank you, Sid, so much, and it is great to be here with you this morning. Uh, I see the confluence of, uh, of this and rain as an auspicious sign, uh, and indeed uh, I feel blessed uh, by, uh, by the opportunity to work with the staff uh, at this great institution. 
Uh, I'm delighted this is the third annual conference because this happens to be the beginning of my third year here at Berkeley. So uh, I think um, number three sounds good to me. Uh, and I'm very uh, honored, in fact, to be the sponsor of this year's conference. It is uh, one small way that our office uh, can demonstrate support for what is so important for the ongoing career development programs and opportunities across campus. I've been talking about this ever since I came with groups of staff, how uh, impressed I've been uh, not only by the dedication and commitment staff have, but by the fact that so many of you come and spend so much of your careers here. And we, in turn, have to, I think, find ways to uh, uh, better and better recognize that commitment uh, through making available all kinds of opportunities. Uh, this is a great educational institution. It offers great opportunities to faculty and students, and it should do, I believe it has been, but it can do even better in offering those same kinds of opportunities to our staff. And staff uh, are the ones who actually make the university work. Uh, I was for many years a member of the faculty. Uh, I just take off during the summer. You know, I just walk out of my office, pick up my, uh, you know, my, my, my books and notes and go off to do research in India or somewhere else. I came back the day before classes start. I just assumed that um, that was fine uh, because <laughs> somebody was going to make sure that my office was still there, that the classrooms were going to be scheduled, that the students would be in the same classroom that I was teaching. You know, I mean, uh, uh, there were just so many ways in which I remember as a faculty member taking for granted uh, the roles that staff played. And now that I'm in the administration, I see, of course, how everything we do, from the research lab to the classroom, from the student advising we do to so many other areas of critical engagement that we, uh, perform, uh, that we do for, uh, for faculty, staff, for alumni, uh, and indeed for the general public, uh, the role you play uh, is so central. So I am here to, uh, to, to honor you, uh, to recognize your service, your commitment, but to, at the same time, recognize that with that uh, goes uh, an obligation on our part to make sure that the kinds of things you're learning about today really do become really genuinely available as, uh, as ways to, to, to continue to build your own sense of purpose and, uh, your own, and to realize your own kinds of goals uh, and to do what we can to, uh, to, to work with you as you do that. The theme of this year's conference, there are many ways to shine. Uh, is of course a descriptor of the ways in which uh, you show us how you shine in all the different roles you uh, play and occupy. Uh, I hope uh, you all take pride in uh, what you do for this institution and I hope you all take pride in what this institution represents. In being the finest public research university in the United States, we, I think, actually are a beacon for those who continue to believe that the kinds of things that great research universities can offer uh, can genuinely be offered to a broader public than uh, is the case in uh, what would be the case if we didn't have these public universities. And that would be just a few smaller, very elite uh, private institutions that would be great if you got in the door, uh, but which of course uh, would represent the extent to which people don't get in that door, and especially people don't get in that door uh, unless they've known about that door probably for generations. Uh, what we do here, having uh, among our undergraduate student body, a third of our students come in with Pell Grants, which means they come from families making less than $45,000. What we do here with a quarter of our students being the first students in their families to be going to college, what we do here in terms of the kind of outreach that we engage in uh, to make sure those students have the opportunity to think about Berkeley and then, uh, of course, they have to uh, work hard to get here. But once they do so, to actually make this dream a reality is to me uh, 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 of, of great importance. Uh, it signifies what this country stands for but does not always manage to do. And so uh, there is a mission here. Uh, and I want to thank you all for sharing that mission and indeed for making that mission come true every day, every day of the year, winter, spring, fall, and summer. So 
I'm uh, thrilled to see the program for the day. I uh, have been uh, uh, admiring the work that's gone into uh, preparing for a conference that uh, began to over-register within hours of opening. Uh, I think the wait lists have been mostly accommodated, but uh, do take advantage of the full day uh, because uh, uh, you, you did get here first, but there were those who wanted to come uh, as well. Uh, I, I want to join Sid in thanking everyone, the conference organizers, the presenters, our keynote speakers, uh, the many volunteers who have participated, and the stadium staff too, another group of staff who are making uh, this day possible. Uh, thank you all for your tireless efforts, uh, and thank you for being here, and thank you for believing uh, in the University of California at Berkeley and working with us, uh, as I say, to make this the greatest public research university in the world. Thanks so much.